John McCain says he's not going to show up for tomorrow night's debate unless this deal should be done. Why not suspend campaigning? Why not postpone the debate in your mind? You know, I, I was so shocked when I heard that. To me, that is the opposite of a confidence builder. It shows a leader who's under stress, who can't deal with m more than one thing at a time. You know, to be the president of the greatest country in the world, you know, we have times when we have an earthquake the same day we may have a flood. We have two wars going on, and we have the biggest bailout in the history of the country that we have to deal with. But a president has to deal with it all. Believe me, on a much smaller scale, but I represent 37 million people on any given day, I have to do it all. And if I'm so Senator running for president, I have to have the courage to do it all. And I don't just say, time out, I need you know, to crawl up into the corner with my blanket, because life isn't that way. And I thought it was bizarre, frankly. And of all the times we need to see our candidates under stress, unscripted, it would be just at this point in time. So you think it was a stunt? I think it was a little political theater to change the debate. And let me tell you why John McCain wants to change the debate. Of all the people who've been in the forefront of deregulation, which is the cause of this problem, deregulation, it's John McCain. It started with the Keating Five when he went in there and tried to press regulators not to go after a savings and loan with Charles Keating. We know about that. And it continued on through his whole mm. career in terms of leading the charge with Phil Graham for deregulation. He doesn't want people to know that. He doesn't yeah. want you to talk about it. Isn't it better to talk about whether or not there'll be a debate? And I think it was this diversion, and I think it was certainly not inspiring confidence in the American mm -hmm. people.